Hello, Micro here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Firefox persona using Adobe Photoshop. Now I know there's already a ton of these um, videos out there already, but what I'm going to do different is I'm actually going to provide you with a template that will help you make better personas. And then I'm go going to go through, show you how to use it, and give you some advice on how to make the colors look a little better, how to keep the text looking good, and just how to make everything fit on the page so it's not overpowering. Well, let's go ahead and get started. First off, I'm going to start by showing you what I think makes a good persona and a bad persona. For good persona, I find that if you just stick to a few colors, like perhaps three colors, like we have black and white, I also consider gray to be white, and then red. So we have our three base colors, which really work well together. As you can see, this guy here has this Ferrari over here on the right, keeps the whole center of the persona clean, um, and then over on the left, he has white text, which is actually pretty easy to see over the gray and the black. And this is a nice, clean persona, doesn't distract you, easy to see, and you can keep it up while reading web pages. Now here's a persona that I see here that isn't quite as nice. Um, you can see he is just has abrupt edges. Nothing is really centered. Um, the center of the persona is very cluttered. Um, you can't read what he has going on behind here. Be you know, on the background of the persona. Plus this green, although it may not be a bad color, just doesn't work for this. Because you see he has, he has black text above the, the green background. You really can't read what it says, so you're going to be sitting here hunting and pecking, trying to find what link you are looking for. So just try to keep the center clean, and just try to stick with a few colors, and have a nice rendering or cutout of the picture that you want. Now here we are inside Photoshop. And I provided you in the description a link to this PSD file. It's just a simple template to use. And as you can see, this template is actually a lot smaller than what Firefox tells you to use. Firefox tells you to use a 3000 by 200 pixel um, picture to make this template with. But what I find is that Firefox actually only lets you use about two thirds of the actual amount of space that they give you and anything more than that will just be cut off and it will make it look real funny. So what I've got, gone ahead and done here is I've taken these ruler marks and first I put in this vertical bar right at the end of where your monitor would end at the side of the Firefox template. Then I did another vertical bar here in between the address bar and the Google bar. For the most part we're going to want to try to use this area over here to the right of this second ruler. And then what I've done is I've made a um, horizontal line it, um, through the Google bar and address bar to kind of give you a reference point of where your picture is going to be distorted or overlaid because these address bars actually go over your picture and then it's a little hard to see but if you come down here further I've got another ruler marker that's at the bottom of these tabs now anything that's under this ruler marker is just going to get cut off and will not be part of your template or part of your persona so you just really have to be careful to try to stay above this lower mark. Now let's go ahead and take a look inside our template folder here. And here we have a template, which is the white Firefox picture that we have. And then we have a background, which is BG. Now we don't actually want to use this background that's inside of this template. This is only here as a placeholder to keep the template in place so that you can actually see where everything fits. So what we want to do is we want to take the template we want to turn this down to 40% opacity. That's just a good place to start. What we want to do is we want the opacity low enough to where you can see um, your persona underneath of it. And this gives you a good idea of where to place it underneath the address bar, how far from the right, keeping it above the line where everything disappears. Now at this point, we want to make a new background layer. So we create a new layer, and we can actually keep all of this underneath this template group. Um, we can rename this BG for background, and the reason that we keep everything underneath is so that we can see the opacity of the template above what we are doing. Now for the sake of time of this video, I already have all my renders done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Jill Valentine theme from Resident Evil. More of the old school look here, by the way. Bring her, just drop and drag her. I like to keep her on the right hand side, um, because like I mentioned earlier, I like to keep the center of the persona nice and clean. This isn't a desktop wallpaper, this is a persona, so this really helps with the look of it. Now, as you can see, Jill is kind of hard to see here. That's because she's underneath 
this template file that has the eye turned on for viewing. So just simply go through and turn it off and on as you need to to complete this. Now what I find works good is to make a background a gradient color. You know if you're a better artist go for it but here I'm just going to show you this real quick. Gradient will hit the G on the keyboard which brings up gradient and paint bucket. We'll open the gradient. Now I already have the colors chosen. How I chose these colors is I just took a gradient up here that had three colors like blue, yellow, blue, turned the outer ones into black, um, and we're turning the center into blue to match her shirt. So we double click on the blue. You can just go down and click on her shirt. And what that's going to do is change the color to be the proper blue. Hit OK, hit OK, and then we're going to make sure we're still on the background layer. You hold down the shift key, left click, and drag the gradient down. What this does is keeps the gradient in a straight line. Release the mouse, then you can release the shift key. And this just gives us a real nice blue background. We'll go back up and choose my selection tool so I don't mess things up. We'll turn on the template file, and we can kind of see that not very much of her is going to be showing up. So what we're going to have to do is we'll zoom in here a little bit, and we'll readjust Jill to get her to where we can actually view her. We'll grab her, bring her up a little bit. As you can see, her head is going to be underneath this Google bar, and sometimes you really can't help but have things work out that way. Um, a couple things we could do is Control T and shrink her down a little bit, make her fit a little better. Um, sometimes you just might want to keep her eyes out from under it, but yet have her head hidden up behind it. And just whatever it takes to make your picture fit here. Now this, in my opinion, doesn't look too bad all on its own here. We've got a real nice blue. Um, we've got the render of Jill here. Here's with the opacity back off with the template. And so what we can go ahead and do is go ahead and create text or even bring in another character. Whereas I have Nemesis, I'll go ahead and bring him in. This just adds more character to it. And I want to have Nemesis back behind Jill. And so I'll have to bring his layer down below the render of Jill. That way he stays behind her. I'm going to move him up a little higher so it looks like he's coming after her, in a sense. Rearrange these guys a little bit. And then to complete this, I'm just going to go ahead and simply um, bring in a text. And I already have the text done. What I found works real well for text is to start out at about 90 um, pixels, or 90 font size, whatever that's called. This here's a little, little off from there, but it still works. Of course, you can adjust it as you need to. Now, what I've done here is, of course, I've made it to where the text stays below the Google and address bar, and yet is above the tabs, so that you'll always be able to read the Jill Valentine um, without it being covered up by everything else. I try to keep it more off to the right, so that it keeps the center of the template clean, or the center of the persona clean. And I think I've got these guys right about where I want them. Um, it you can see the Google bar covers up Nemesis a little bit. You can see most of Jill here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn off the template. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here, and then you can kind of see what it's going to be looking like. Now when we are finally happy with the persona and how it looks, uh, you want to make sure to save for web. Remember that Firefox won't take anything that's over 300 um, kilobytes. So right here, this shows a JPEG of 137. You'd actually get a better quality picture if you save as a PNG 24, but that's going to take us up probably closer to 400 kilobytes. What I found is if a JPEG is 100 or less, then it, then you can go ahead and turn it into a PNG and it will still be under 300. But as is, we're just going to have to save it as a JPEG. So we'll go ahead and click Save. Save it to wherever you want, whatever name you want. We're saving it. Now what we can do is we can come up in here, you hit Tools, Persona, custom persona, and this way we can take a look at it before we upload it. We're going to hit browse, find our file, and bring it on in. You can see it looks pretty much just like the template said it would. Um, over here on the left, this is where we know what color text we want. We can see that you can see the white pretty well on the blue and the black. Um, you can check your colors. See, the black just would not look good at all. So we'll go back to white. When you actually upload this to Firefox, you can actually choose the exact color you want 
whereas I normally take it down just one gray level below white, so it's just a little bit off-white. I know this was quick. I hope it wasn't too quick for you to catch everything that was going on in the video. I'm not going to show you how to upload it um, or how to name it or anything like that. This was just pretty much to show you about the template. Thanks. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them.